Okay, the drum set you're looking at right here is a Slingerland drum set, and it's the drum set that Rufus Speedy Jones used with Duke Ellington. And this is a set that I actually saw Rufus play in the 70s uh, when I was seeing Ellington at a high school auditorium. And I actually helped Rufus take this set down at the end of the concert. You just walk up to the stage and help him take the set apart. This is an ad from Slingerland from that same period of time that shows Rufus behind this very set. <clears throat> I think that was an ad that appeared in Downbeat. The set consists of two 9x13s, which is what Rufus used. You can see them there. And they're interesting because the one that would be to the player's left, you can see that the tone control is facing the audience up there in the top right-hand side. See it up there? But that's exactly how he played the set. It's almost as if it were a another tom from a right-handed set. There's a double tom set. There's the other tom. The snare drum is a 5x14 metal shell, brass shell. Two 14x22 bass drums, 16x16 16 16 floor tom. This set was used by Rufus with Ellington in the 70s. Uh, Rufus was an incredible drummer, for those of you not familiar with him. He was a big man, so he looked like he might not be too, uh, too gentle and too delicate behind the drums, but he could be. He could be extremely gentle and delicate and tasteful, uh, but he also had technical speed, and, and his technique was just remarkable, absolutely remarkable, hence Rufus Speedy Jones. Tremendous player. Uh, I'll try to get you a little bit uh, more in the way of close-up shots here. The set's in remarkable condition. Uh, it was kept very well, road cases and all. Uh, you can see it's been, been kept very, very well. And there's the, the front head. Here's a little close-up of the other head. This particular set is located in our Illinois store, not in our New York Museum. This is part of the Illinois Museum collection. And we want everybody to be aware of it. If you would like to see more of it, you can see it on our website in the museum section of the website. And uh, for those interested, the set is not for sale. Uh, we've, we've had people offer to buy it before, but this is one that I would like to have remain in my personal collection. So uh, there it is, and to say nothing of, of the fact that it not only looks great, but it sounds incredible. This was this period of, of manufacturing for Slingerland in the, uh, from the, I'll call it the middle 60s through the late 70s, they made incredible instruments, just wonderful, wonderful drums. So uh, this is a fine example of that period in terms of instrument quality. Hope you liked it. Thanks so much. See us at maxwelldrums.com on the web. Thanks.